Hey all folks, welcome to this new video. Sometimes you stumble over something that is too stupid to be real. At least you would imagine so. Then you come to the YSL trial and the stupid keeps pouring over you. This I have produced so much videos about, but here is something that you should expect an experienced prosecutor to catch on early, at least proofread. <laughs> Let's go through it. This is now, this is a somewhat normal uh se sentencing sheet this is for Sergio Kitchens aka Gunna he was he did a so called Alford plea I'm trying to well Alford plea means that you do not plead guilty but you also see that the evidence are so strong that there is no meaningful way for you to defend yourself. So you do an Alford plea after a case after a defendant named Alford. And he pled to conspiracy to violate the RICO Act. His sentencing was uh, five years, one year for time served. And then four years suspended. And there are a bunch of, yeah, just general things. That it, this is a standard, not much to talk about thing. General conditions of probation, because that four years uh, after he times one year, time served. Then probation. General conditions are do not violate the criminal laws, avoid injurious and vicious habits, do not change your place of abode, blah, 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 blah. Then you get to special conditions. Uh, <laughs> and it starts here already in uh, highlighted in red i didn't highlight it this is special conditions and then the prosecutor writes the special conditions this will become important and i will tell you why the parties agree that upon completion of the special condition enumerated in 3b below the suspended sen sentence will be terminated by consent order which means once he does that, he is no longer considered on probation because there is a special condition that he does something. Let's see the special condition. A, if called by any party in this case, you will testify truthfully, but reserve your right to assert your Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination. Which means in the YSL trial uh, that uh, prosecutors can't give him immu that immunity deal. He has the right to plead the fifth. B. Agree to perform 500 hours of community service, complete at least 350. A substantial portion of which will require that you speak to young men and women about the hazards and immorality of gangs and gang violence and the decay that it causes in the community. You agree that the community service locations shall be determined by the office of the Fulton County District Attorney. C. You shall not possess any guns during the terms of this sentence or any time thereafter unless your right to do so is restored. Now check D here. You shall not commit no criminal acts. Mm. 
you shall not commit no criminal acts. Now, I learned grammar and double negatives around fourth grade. The person writing this is a seasoned prosecutor with a lot of training, especially in writing stuff. Writing stuff down, writing agreements, plea agreements, sentencing agreements. And they write a double negative in point D. You shall not commit no criminal acts, which literally means do crime. <laughs> okay. Um, let, let's see who the genius is who wrote this. Well, of course, Glanville is the judge, but he only signs it. Dun, dun, dun. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Where did you go? I remember the sign signage of this. The prosecutor did not even sign this. Stephen Sado was the defense attorney. Christina Weaver, court reporter. Euro Glanville was judge. All right. <laughs> so. I would assume, since this is a plea agreement, that it's either uh, Adam, Abade, Abadi, or Miss Love. But I don't find it. Now, if stupid, this is extremely stupid, that you shall not commit no criminal acts. But let's return to, the parties agree that on completion of the special condition enumerated in 3b below the suspended sentence will terminate by consent order agree to perform 500 hours of community service complete at least 350 okay when he does that everything else in this goes away which means that I know they want to call uh, Ghana to the YSL trial, but if he manages to complete 350 hours of community service before that, and this was in December of 2022, for instance, say he does 10 hours a week. Well, that's 35 weeks. There's a clear chance that Mr. Ghana has performed all of his uh, assigned community service by the time he is scheduled to testify. But as it says here, the parties agree that upon completion of the special condition enumerated in 3b below, the suspended sentence will terminate by consent order. Still, well, I, I, I would argue as Mr. Sado, if Mr. Gunnar has performed 350 hours, he no longer has to testify. Now, this is so easily avoidable by just adding in the, the parties that enumerated in 3A and B. So easily. But how do you expect someone to know that? Who doesn't even know double negatives? You shall not commit no criminal act. The... Yeah, folks. This YSL trial never ceases to amaze me. Never. Because of the sheer incompetence and stupidity in the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. It must be one of the most incompetent district attorney's offices in the country. 
if this is what they can produce. <laughs> All right, folks, that is what I had for you. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, hug your family. Unless your family is crap, then screw them and give your love to the people who deserve it. See you in next video or stream. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.